This week, we are going to be talking about one of my favorite animals, but one that you probably hate, the Eastern Garter Snake. When you hear the word snake, you probably get scared and think they are creatures of the devil that want nothing more than to hurt you. This could not be farther from the truth. Snakes are very defensive creatures and will flee from most conflict in most situations. Can you blame them? They're just noodles with heads. Eastern garter snakes are primarily solitary snakes. They are crepuscular. What that means is that they are most active during dawn and dusk. During winter, garter snakes congregate together in one spot where they all hibernate. The reason garter snakes will hibernate together is that it conserves heat. When they coil together, it keeps the snakes warmer, which is very important. Snakes and all reptiles are cold-blooded. This means that their body does not maintain a steady temperature like ours does. A snake's body temperature is whatever the temperature of the outside world is. So when they are not hibernating, reptiles will bask in the sun to warm up and hide under rocks to cool down. This is why coming together to hibernate is so important. When garter snakes wake up for hibernation, they begin breeding. When a male finds a female, they begin to wrap around each other. Other males that come across them will also try to coil up with the female. As a result, huge breeding balls are formed after hibernation. After females breed, instead of laying eggs like most snakes, they give live birth. When baby garter snakes are born, they are completely on their own. The mother provides no parental care, and the babies are ready to fend for themselves. As the babies eat and grow, they will shed their skin. Yes, the skin of the garter snake will all come off in one piece during shedding. Snakes shed their skin because as they grow, the skin they have doesn't grow with them. Snakes never stop growing, meaning they will always keep shedding for their entire life. Eastern garter snakes eat an extremely wide range of food. Unlike other snakes, which mainly eat rodents, they mainly eat earthworms, insects, fish, toads, and salamanders. Toads produce a toxin and are poisonous to eat for most predators. However, this doesn't affect garter snakes, making them one of the few species that can eat toads. They can also eat small mammals like mice and baby birds. Garter snakes produce a venomous saliva that paralyzes toads and other small animals, but is not medically significant to humans. Garter snakes use sight and smell to find their prey. But did you know garters and all snakes smell with their tongue? Snakes will flick out their tongue and pick up scents in the air. They bring their tongue to the roof of their mouth where a special organ called the Jacobson's organ will send the signals to the brain where the information is used to tell the garter where the smell is coming from. When garters or any snake catch food, they can't rip it apart or chew it because they have no hands or legs, so instead they swallow their prey whole. Snakes can open their mouth four times wider than the widest part of their body. Snakes can also move the left and right side of their jaw independently of each other because they are connected with the ligament instead of a bone. They use this feature to walk their jaw up their prey until they have completely swallowed it. The eastern garter snake, being just a noodle with a head, is preyed upon by many animals. Hawks, crows, foxes, bears, bullfrogs, squirrels, raccoons, domestic cats, other snakes, and snapping turtles will all eat the eastern garter. Eastern garter snakes have a few ways to defend themselves from predators. The first way is camouflage. Their colors make them hard to spot. However, if they do get spotted, they will sometimes just swim into a body of water if it is close by. If there is no body of water, they will try to slither away. If the predator catches them, they will squirm and emit a foul-smelling liquid called musk. They will rub it all over the predator. 
If you ever see an eastern garter snake in the wild or in your backyard, they are harmless and you do not need to be worried. It's okay to pick them up as long as you are careful not to hurt them. They may musk on you, but they usually don't bite. Even if you do get bit, just wash the area. They can't do anything to hurt you and are harmless.